Hello writers, RJ Tessman here with more tips for your writing life. Recently I finished reading a lovely novel by Jane Kirkpatrick where lilacs still bloom. It's an older book um, but I really enjoyed reading. It's based on a true story about a woman named Holga Klager who hybridized lilacs. But there was a quote in the book that kind of stopped me. It was one of those aha quotes. And uh, Jane Kirkpatrick writes, we are here to live, to serve, to trust, and to create out of our longings. And it was that last part, to create out of our longings, that really stopped me. Because I think creating as writers out of our longings requires the most from us, digging deep, a sense of who we really are as creative people, and the passions and the longings that we carry with us. Sometimes those are manifested as dreams or uh, they present themselves as characters in a novel like, like Kirkpatrick did here, writing a, about a true story with um, the novel techniques. Uh, but sometimes our longings are connected with what can we do to make things better in our chaotic world. Several of my clients um, really um, impress me with how they create out of their longings. Topics such as school reform or domestic abuse, uh, memories, devastating memories of wars and uh, from writers who have been through uh, some type of war and they have PTSD, or writers who are struggling through a cancer diagnosis and how uh, that has changed them. Uh, some of my clients like to write about God's love and uh, how that changes their lives and how they want to impact the world with those truths uh, or miracles. You know, some of my clients have written about miracles that have happened in their lives. And one of my clients um, who is disabled writes about how to live with courage and humor, how to deal with her, her disability. Um, and some clients write about grief and how that helps heal relationships and mend families and how they work through it. So these are, these are writers who are writing out of their longings creating something out of their longings. And I get the privilege of helping them work toward a book, reading their work, helping them edit, cheering for them um, until that book is finished. So I would just like to challenge you as a writer to maybe make a list of your deepest longings and then see how you can create something out of those amazing passions and longings that you carry with you. But most of all, keep writing because your words do matter.